Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Guess what we have today? Special treat, decided to give myself a little present and uh, this is going to be the unboxing of my new Lee Nielsen low angle jack plane. Stay tuned. Just picked this up uh, yesterday down at the mailbox. I ordered it on Monday and it came on Friday. I did get the sock with it. Very well packaged. Very exciting to get this tool. I do have a couple other Lee Nielsen's. I got the a couple of the block plane and the little rabbit plane. This is the first time I spent some real money on getting you know, plane this size. Oh my goodness, is that a pretty plane. Look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. You know, the thing about high quality is it's so apparent. There are absolutely no scratches. You can really tell when people put all their efforts into their brand and into their uh, work. This, this thing is just so pretty. So it's really all about the blade. Supposedly you don't have to, <laughs> apparently you don't have to do any touch up. And just by barely touching that, I tend to agree. Look how sharp this is. You have to be very careful when pushing the blade out a little bit or always just go in this direction. That way you can feel it correctly. If you go this way, what you get is coleslaw with your finger and you really don't want to be doing that. So the mouth on this adjust, very light cuts there. And if you're doing hogging cuts, this extends by loosening the front knob and changing this lever. What a gorgeous tool. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Let's see how it cuts. Haven't done anything to the blade. Had the uh, mouth too closed. <laughs> a little thick. Let's back it up a little bit. Ah. 
Oh my goodness. Still thick. Look at that. Just consistent. That's about maybe two thousandths of an inch thick. Let's see if we get a little thinner. Go a little thinner. Let's go thinner. Whisper thin. Look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty. All right, let's try a piece of two by four. having a little trouble right here. Let's try it in the opposite direction in case we're going against the grain. Ah uh, yeah, it's going against the grain. Gossamer thin shavings. Oh my goodness. It's a little tear right here. It's got a little bit of an angle here. A little tear out. Still getting some of that tear out. Oh, this is very, very smooth. I'm getting a little tear out here. I'm just going to try it at an angle so it's more of a skew than a straight cut. have to do something with this knot here I don't know let's try it on the face Okay, I got the uh, throat or the mouth open. I'm just going to close that up a little bit. See if there's much difference. This is perfectly smooth. This is not perfectly smooth. See if it has to do with grain direction. That's gorgeous. I really don't think you have to do anything at all, all to the uh, blade. I think it's ready to come right out and start working for you. Well, I wouldn't say you don't have to sand that, but it's pretty close. I think in a minute or two with a little sandpaper on that wouldn't hurt a bit. Yeah, look at those shavings. Oh 
Okay, so what do I think? I think this tool is gorgeous. This is going to be my new favorite tool. And it's certainly going to be a nice addition to my collection that I've been starting uh, recently. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I just restored this one, this one, this one, and this one. And having a lot of fun doing this. But, uh, yeah, this is very nice. So, hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, thanks for spending a couple minutes of your day with me. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more ideas coming. And uh, have a good time in your shop. Make some shavings. But remember to stay safe. Whatever you do, always think first and make sure that your work is ready to go in a safe manner. So thank you. Until next time.